<clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's ethanol video, ethanol endeavor, we are looking at Aspel's premium uh, cider. So, um, <clears throat> got the night out for later. So, free drinks by myself with the new cider. So, um, let's just look at it. Aesthetically, very long bottle. I don't know why. It's very difficult to store in my fridge. I have to put it on its side. I can't keep it upright. Um, unnecessary. Um, bottle neck in my opinion but whatever um, if you just look at the front there Aspel premium CRU I don't know how to say that cider an elegant dry cider with a light floor, floral aroma established in 1728 so very long time that have been around in uh, the cider house Aspel Suffolk so I assume that must be this town they're from they have the little knight there and the little um, sun thing on the back it says a sophisticated sparkling cider with a clean apple taste and long and a long dry finish crafted for the original cider house suffolk appearance mid straw aroma floral taste crisp apple um it's it's a pint and it's 6.5 um percent um <coughs> i've spoken about this before in previous episodes where i really enjoy when they have the little whoops another can of, can um it says like i just said there the appearance of aroma and floral i think that's really nice a little touch just a little um you know kind of thing thing to expect i had my head brush, sorry about that and then it has this little uh thing this little uh naming like little thing it says in 1728 aspel was founded by clement something in the parish of the Aspel of Aspel Suffolk, while all around him were growing something, he I'm not gonna read this. And then a little little nice bottle cap there. Uh, it's difficult to see in the light. But it says it just says the side of house Aspel Suffolk. So with my trusty uh, Ace of Spades bottle opener. Uh, what do I expect from this? I don't expect it to be very floral. Like I have stuff like Thatcher's, which is very apple, very, very sweet, quite sweet, um, <coughs> and obviously Strongbow and stuff like that. The aesthetic of this, I don't really get that impression. However, we will see. So let me just sniff it. Hmm. It it smells similar to the taste of Henry Weston cider. If you ever had that. It doesn't, yeah, it definitely smells sweet, it definitely has a floral aroma, like it says. Um, not very apple like it says, necessarily, but it is sweet. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, so yeah, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna taste, now I'm gonna take a drink. Wow. This is, this is very much like Henry Weston cider. This is really like Henry Weston cider. In fact, no, I, I don't want to keep comparing it to that because some people don't know what it's like or haven't, and I haven't done a video on it, so you can't watch that to know. But it, um, it's easy to drink. It, it's easy to drink, considering it's a seven percent. That, that's a good thing. It's like it doesn't make me cringe at all. It, it, it goes down easily, and it has. I wouldn't say it's crisp apple. I wouldn't say it's extra dry at all. It's not very. It's not bitter. I get. I get no impression of bitterness from this at all. And it's a, it's a joy to drink. It's a, it's a joy to drink actually. I enjoy, yeah. I, I would recommend this. Um, yeah. Not super appley. It's not super sweet. But it's. I guess it's kind of in the middle. But it, but it's not bitter either. So it's kind of, it's more sweet than bitter, but it's not super sweet. It's not like you're drinking, you know, it's not like you're drinking a patch of gold or something like that. It's not super defined in in the apple of flavour. How it is sweet and there is a fruity flavour that cannot be denied. And it drinks very, it goes down very easily. And like I said, it's not, it's not bit, it's not dry at all. Even from the smell, you don't get that either. Usually you get a quite a strong bitter smell, and then we taste it, it's not bitter at all. But you don't even get a bitter smell from this, and it doesn't even taste bitter. So that's a good thing, in my opinion. 
Yeah, no, this is good. This is good. Um, no, it's got. It's not. It's not got such a great flavour as Henry Wesson's. Keep in mind that is an also apple, um, apple based cider, eight uh, percent. So similar range. It's not as yeah. It's not as flavoursome as Henry Wesson's in my opinion. Um, I think it's got a little bit more sweetness and I think it's got a little more bit more bitterness and the aftertaste on this is different. It says um, yeah, a clean apple taste and a long dry finish. So if I taste it. Um, yeah, it, it lingers in the back of the throat for a little bit. Again, not massively dry necessarily, um, but it, it, it does linger in the back of your throat a little bit. And again, I wouldn't say it's a clean apple taste. It's it's a nice fruity apple taste. It's not a clean apple taste. You know, when you're drinking something like this, you can really taste the apple in it, like like really. And the same with the Magnus as well. Um, you know, four percent uh, or four point five or whatever it is. Uh, you can really taste the the sweetness in it. This you can taste the sweetness in it, not necessarily an apple. I'm just gonna pour it out here because often when you drink it from a cup out the bottle, it tastes different. And also, I want to check if the appearance is mild straw, like it, like it claims to be. So, yeah, that is that is pale. Yeah, that, that is pale. I hope you saw that when I was when I was um pouring that. It is a uh, yeah. It, it is quite pale. It's not as it's not a dark cider at all. Um, I'm I'm not going to be able to show you without spilling. I don't think. No, I'm not going to try. I'm not going to risk it. But um, yeah, looking at it, it's pa it's pale. It's not it's not dark. It's not a dark orange. It's a nice, um, it's a nice pale yellow. So I would say that. Let me let me see if it tastes any different from this. <sighs> Smells more bitter from this. Um, taste, I don't think it tasted that much different. Yeah, maybe slightly more bitter, but generally not bad. Like, it's, still, it's still not bad, like, whether it's from here or whether it's from here. It's good regardless. Um, and I would recommend this. I didn't have, I, to be honest, didn't have that great expectations from it. Aesthetically, like I said at the beginning, I thought... You know, it's not it's not going to be super fruity necessarily, like it says. I thought it's going to be a bit of a dirty drink, to be honest. Like something like case cider or something like that. No, but not at all, not at all. Um, it goes down easy. It goes down, it goes down like a treat. In fact, it's not it's not too dry, not too uh, not too sweet. I mean, not that you can really get these things so strong that they're too sweet. I would say, but uh, yeah, they go down quite easily, and I enjoy it. I would re I would recommend this. Uh, for, for a strong for a strong cider, this is a good option. Um, <clears throat> you know, a couple, a three of these, three four of these, they'll send you, they'll send you west. They'll send you west to Suffolk. I think that is in the west of England. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, I would recommend this. I've, and I think that concludes this video. Really, um, yeah, like I said, good drink. Would recommend it. Not too bitter. Not too sweet. Um, and and go for it. Um, the cost of this, I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. I think it's four pound for a bottle, which is expensive. I could be wrong in that though. It could be a little bit cheaper. But um, so that is that is something to keep in mind. A little bit expensive, but the price you pay, you know, it's a good flavour. There are there are other things such as Henry Weston's, which I think are a bit cheaper. Come in a bottle, um, and they taste good, and they're stronger. In fact, um. And there's obviously, if your the main aim is to get drunk or something, you obviously have case either uh, five pound fifty or something like that in in the local shop for for a four pack. So, but it, it depends what your agenda is. But generally, this is a good drink, and I would I would, I would recommend it. So, um, if you've uh, enjoyed this video, please give it a like, um, comment, and everything. Any new any new drinks you would like me to try. And keep in mind, I have lots of other video reviews if you're interested in that cider and spirits and stuff like that. So please watch those if you would enjoy. And uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, and thank you. Peace.